Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 45 in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is about waves. In this part, we talk about the bridge, right? In the earthquake, we need to find out what are the resonant period for this bridge. And then this bridge just happens in earthquake and we find the foot bridge bridge oscillate up and down in one loop in every 1.5 seconds. So this one tells you the period for T1, right? And for this bridge, when it is oscillating, we can see the wavelength of standing waves. So the initial lambda is just a 2L, this is v -nard. And for different uh, number of standing waves, we can find lambda n equal to 2L over n, right? So that means in other situations, lambda n is 2L over n. And we need to find the corresponding period. And then, can you find the relationship between period and the wavelength? Yes. We know the wavelength just equal to wave speed times the period, no problems. Speed times the period is the distance wavelength, right? And this speed is constant from the materials, the earthquakes. So that makes the wavelength is proportionally to the period, right? So we can get the ratio Tn over T1 just equal to lambda n over lambda 1 because lambda is proportionally to the T. And then this one equal to 1 over n from these two equations, agree? So we can write the equations Tn equal to T1 over n. And then, so the Tn, the possible frequencies is just 1.5 divided by n. n can be one an integral, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Thank you.